at this point, I think we need to beg whoever that is advising this man to stop. It is enough. He is making a complete fool of himself online, on daily. Like, I have had it. I am tired of him and his nagging and his whining. I think most people can agree with me at this point that it seems like he's truly the narcissist. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to Hang with Oma. It's your girl Oma. Thank you for clicking to watch and thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already, it's that red subscribe button on your screen. Please click it. A notification bell pop up beside it. Select also so that you'll be notified every time I upload. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back. I definitely appreciate you up here. So update, um, I saw a video of Justin and Cora from before the whole saga. Um, they were having a misunderstanding and they've been quarreling, according to the video, they've been quarreling all day. And the reason for the quarrel was because, okay, Cora didn't want to say, but Justin said that it's because Cora don't want to take business advice from him. According to Justin, he has been advising Cora on things she can do to earn more money from her social media platforms. He was insisting that views and likes that she gets does not equal the money in her bank account. And he's giving her advice of things she can do so that she can get more money out of her social media platform. Apparently, she's not taking the advice that he's giving, so hence the quarrel. Recently, um, they had a serious altercations verbally, of course. Justin came to take the kids. He was supposed to get them for a day like take them up in the daytime and return them towards the evening. But he kept them for four days. And when he returned them, according to Cora's friends that put out the statement, because Cora herself have not actually said anything. So according to the friend that put out the statement, um, Athena, that's the little baby of a month, has some scratches and some red, red patches on her body. And... Cora has been exclusively breastfeeding, right? And Justin started giving the baby formula. Had her for four days without the mother's consent. So he brought them back. And he's telling, um, he's telling Cora that he wants to take both June and the baby with him. That he will keep them with him until the divorce is settled. And then the custody has been... The custody situation has been addressed. And Cora was like, you want to take Athena with you too? And he said, yes. And Cora said, Athena is just a baby. He said he does not care. She's breastfeeding. That he doesn't care. <laughs> so at this point, Justin doesn't care about the welfare of his kids from his mouth. He just wants to be. He just wants to take things, make do things that he believes that will hurt Cora. Let's not forget that he was the first person that came online and said she was a narcissist and she was a cheat. And when people start saying, ah, so that means the kids does not belong to you, you are not sure if they are your kids, he came back and said, oh, she is definitely a cheat, but she did not cheat on him, but it was at the beginning of their relationship, so the kids are his. Okay, we hear you. And he is um, saying that social media is the reason why his relationship fell apart. Cora has been on social media for a very long time, you guys. She has been on social media for a very long time. All these things that have been happening, she still comes on live, she still dances, she still does. Her lives are not as long as they used to be. But she still comes on, she still dances, she still shows cooking and all of that that she used to do before. But the difference is that she does not talk about Justin. She does not address any rumor. She does not address the situation at all. Justin, on the other hand, he comes online, he insults her parenting, he insults her private parts in front of her kids. And he has videoed her almost naked on life once. He said that he's going to sue Cora and her friends for putting out statements that came out from his mouth that he was not aware that she was filming him. <laughs> okay, you can go to court, but even though I am not a lawyer, this even I know that if you're going to look for justice from court system, you should come with clean hands. Justin, are your hands clean? Are they? 
<laughs> because you filmed your wife when she wasn't even dressed, trying to bond with her baby, screaming, repeat what you said, repeat what you said. That does not seem like breaking of confidentiality to you. That doesn't seem that you did it first before her friends, not even her, did it. That she's saying terrible things and defaming your character and your personality, but you are calling her a narcissist and a cheat. That is not defamatory comment, Abby. <laughs> So, you can look for justice all you want, but your hands are dainty. And I hope that the whatever lawyer or whatever court or whoever that is advising you will tell you that you do not go to look for justice from the court system with dirty hands. Justin, you don't do that. Also, he complained that Cora um, gave him some papers. He doesn't know some useless papers that stating that he cannot be around his children for like one month until they decide. Um, what, uh, what do you expect? What do you expect? You took a baby of one month away from her mother for four days and you started feeding the baby four months without her mother's consent and you're saying, my child, my child. It, it can be classified as kidnapping if you took children from the mother, even though you're the father, without the mother's consent. You kidnapped those kids for four days if you don't know. Okay? I'm, I'm tired of him constantly coming online. He's saying things that uh, Cora has money. He doesn't know why she rented a one-bedroom apartment. So your eyes are in her money, that she's rich. She's richer than he is. She has money. So why did she rent a one-bedroom apartment? It is her choice. She does not have to explain to you her reasons for renting one-bedroom apartment. That is what she wants for herself. Okay. <laughs> Deal with it, sir. She has not commented you squatting with your friend. She has not made comments on wherever you're staying. She has not made comments on anything about you. Can you just let this woman rest? So focus on her career and her kids. I believe that Cora by now will be wondering <laughs> what happened. Because sometimes you marry someone and you believe you know them and you believe that the love you guys have can pass through or get through whatever misunderstanding. I mean, Cora and uh, Justin are not the first um, biracial couples to get a divorce. They are another biracial, Nikki, Nikki thought. She, they were very popular on social media. Um, and when they got divorced, they had two girls as well. We knew that they were going through divorce. We knew that things were not really nice, but they kept it off social media. People were making accusations. Some people say Nikki cheated. Some people say Jeremy cheated. Did Jeremy or Jeremiah? Ooh, whatever. Some people say that he cheated, but they never addressed the situation and they never got to the point that they were trashing each other online. They just stopped existing as a team. And Nikki had to go back to her own channel to grow it from scratch and left the other already grown channel for her ex-husband. So I don't understand why this man is coming and saying social media is breaking his marriage. Meanwhile, he's the one on social media every day, dragging Cora and looking for attention from strangers. The funny thing, <laughs> the funny thing is that he has gone to create a YouTube channel and he's marketing his YouTube channel on Facebook on the post that he's accusing social media for being the reason why his family is divorcing. So social media is the reason why your family is divorcing. Cora is the devil for always looking for social media attention, but you are on social media every day, on Facebook every day, saying things about her, posting things on Instagram about her, and asking people to go and subscribe to your YouTube channel. And then he's saying, all of you can unfollow me, but go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. But all of you can unfollow me if you want. <laughs> I don't blame you. I blame Nigerians that are giving you attention because if all Nigerians can stop posting about you, if I can stop seeing your messages, your posts on, on vlogs, on blogs, when I go online, people are going to forget you before the next day, let me tell you, because we have a lot of incidents, we have a lot of things happening that we can keep ourselves busy with. Apart from your online rants, you rant like a girl. Please, it's enough. My ears are tired of it. My eyes are tired of seeing it. Oh, it's good. Justin Zuwaniki. Is that enough? Thank you. <laughs> it's your turn to tell me what you think about these updates, all these things that are happening. Share your thoughts with me in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Even if you don't agree with me, share with me in the comment section. Just keep it civil, okay? Thank you for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Also, feel free to share this video if you can. I would absolutely appreciate it. And I will see you in my next one.